of course, climate change is directly uh, linked with consumption. I think in the future the culture of vegetarianism and of course organic production must be well promoted also uh, among uh, all the countries and communities. The implications are that it's unsustainable. We can't keep living you know, with the diets that we've uh, had. The responsibility that we have as mayors is to inform the citizens, inform the people out there, enough information where they can make conscious choices. All of us have to work together to give people information on what the impacts of their current choices are and then what choices they may have to improve uh, the status they're in. In all our schools, we have uh, the possibility for the students to choose between uh, vegetarian food and some meat or fish. So every day they have the possibility to choose a better food if you look at it from the climate. And uh, just a few months ago we decided that uh, once a month we will only have vegetarian food in our schools. We would like to make uh, the students who say that they need meat uh, to, to choose vegetarian food and to taste it. You know, uh, it's much better to eat vegetarian food than to eat uh, meat. The movement just keeps getting bigger. Uh, and it gets bigger because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for us, it's the right thing to do for our kids, our grandkids, our community, our country, our globe. It can be done, and, uh, and it will be done, because it has to be done. Be veg, go green, save the planet. At the conclusion of the summit, 135 mayors signed the Mexico City Mayor's Pact an agreement to reduce the generation of greenhouse gases through local laws and initiatives. These benevolent and caring leaders also agreed to register their climate actions in the City's Climate Registry, or CCCR, at the Bond Center for Local Climate Action and Reporting, and to provide regular updates on their progress toward lessening greenhouse gases in their respective cities. Currently, Many metros around the world are heeding the call to respond to our planet's climate emergency and are actively encouraging their residents to eat more plant-based fare. Vancouver, one of the largest cities in Canada, is providing financial incentives to help its population make an important change in diet. During 2010, Vancouver allocated 100,000 U.S. dollars to support community plant-based food endeavors. These include purchasing organic produce from wholesalers in order to sell at cost price to people with low incomes. Neighborhood composting systems have also been developed. Mr. David Cadman, a Vancouver City Councilor, as well as President of Eakley, expressed his view on the shift towards a plant-based lifestyle. I think moving towards a vegan diet is absolutely essential. When we look at the inputs that go into raising animals, whether it's land use or whether it's food, the, the, uh, corn and grains that are grown to feed those animals or water consumption, we cannot continue to live as dependent as we are on meat. If you begin to transform your own life, if you become a vegetarian, if you walk more, you will be healthier the planet will be healthier and you will begin to transform the way in which we live in this planet. To close, we would like to extend many thanks to the local government leaders, members of international bodies such as the World Mayor's Council on Climate Change, Equally Local Governments for Sustainability, and United Cities and Local Governments, and all others who are working with earnestness to mitigate global warming. We are especially grateful to those officials who are promoting the planet-cooling vegan diet. May all governments soon share the good news about the world-saving, plant-based lifestyle with their citizens. Thank you, kind viewers, for your company today on Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. 